Um, so if you look at panoptic vision, it's a, 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 a synonym, synonym for this term is a holistic vision. Uh, so what we're looking at here is basically a unification of a number of uh, vision tasks that were uh, split before. So an example of this is this kind of semantic segmentation and insta segmentation. Those were tasks that were, that were treated differently before. So in panoptic vision, you basically merge them uh, together. There are, there are two uh, main arguments to go in this direction. One is academic, right? So the, there's, it's kind of a, a coincidence really that, uh, that, that these tasks were treated differently. That's just a, a historic uh, fact. There's no real reason to do that. But then there's a way more pragmatic uh, argument to go uh, towards such a unified vision system. And that's because they're actually much cheaper, much cheaper to implement. So in this classical approach where you have different neural networks for every task, uh, we'll see that this will actually cost you a lot in terms of energy consumption or you will not be able to run that real time. So for every subtask, you, need you needed a separate model uh, to, to execute that. In Panoptic Vision, we unify that in a single model and that will uh, enable us to, uh, uh, to, to really uh, go to real time embedded vision. Um, I'll briefly, if, if we're talking about panoptic segmentation, we cannot just talk about accuracy as we do in a, a classification. So I, I briefly introduce this kind of panoptic quality measure. The, you don't have to look at the formulas per se, but uh, panoptic quality is basically judged as the combination of your segmentation quality, so knowing which pixel is which class, and your recognition quality, or knowing uh, which object is which class. So it's a combination of those two things. Thank you.